I'm back, you beautiful people. I'm out here at Swatch Nines 2024. But this time, it's a whole new location. They've built a brand new course from scratch, and this could be one of the coolest mountain bike courses ever made. We're out here in Solden, Austria for the Swatch Nines event. One of the sickest events I've ever been to. Like, it just, Pretty much like you come and just ride and enjoy yourself. Like there's no pressure, there's no like set schedule or anything. You just want to ride. Just the atmosphere with everyone here is incredible. So everyone just hopes each other up to keep going. So it's just a right laugh. The course here in Solden is truly something super special. A work of art, a masterpiece, but something like this doesn't just pop up overnight. Here in Solden in the Bike Republic. We're so happy to finally be back in the mountains. You know how you have these magic backdrops, mountain biking makes sense in the mountains, right? We met here in January when there was actually a lot of snow and we went to the spot and you couldn't really see much. But still, uh, we got together Sam Pilgrim, Eric Fetko, Peter Kaiser, Patricia June, Lucas Schaefer, uh, and some of the shapers, the builders. And it was amazing how within half a day, we had the setup. Obviously some tweaks in the end here, there, but it's not my fault that it's a good setup and fun. It's definitely the writer's fault. Setups is what we are famous for um, and what we care the most about. We're absolute perfectionists and always want to provide the setup of the season. We give ourselves the challenge to, to try and to do a world-class slope style line and a world-class free ride line. We had 21 builders and 11 machines working for 10 weeks on an area of 13,000 square meters. Uh, that's one big free ride line with a slope style line like intertwined between it, which so you're jumping over or people are jumping over you. It's all nice size, nothing too crazy. So you can just keep lapping all day. Oh, I love it, it's so much fun. And the just the sort of choices of things you can do are endless here. It's such a fun course. The builders did an insane job. And I guess we gotta stay here for a while, so it's only gonna get better. What's cool about the setup is that it's meant to be here for at least the next 10 years. We want to inspire the youth, we want to inspire the next generation, and we want to provide a playground where they can learn our beautiful sport. But enough talk, let me take you through the course and give you some stats. Get it. Right, the slope style line kicks it off with a little skipper to the left, which is a hip, into a berm, onto an on off feature, which is 3.5 meters in, six meters out, pretty off camber but fun, into the white wall, which is a redirectional. It has a 2.5 meter gap out, 5.5 meters high, and a width of 10 meters. We're into an on-off situation, it's a little table, double drop, uh, 3 meters high, 5.5 meter gap, into the rose jump, which is a 6 meter gap, a true fun trick jump. We've got a shark fin out, and then we've got the trail jump, which is a dirt to dirt, which is a 5 meter gap. And then we've got the wave drop coming up, but the drop itself is a 5 gap and a 4 meter drop. Then we're into the fun jump, is a 3.5 meter gap and a height of 4.5 meters. And now, this is flat out, speed jump. Into the major big trick step up, which the landing is at eight meters high and a gap of six meters. Right, let's jump back on course to show you the free ride line because there's some big features. You would think we'd be out here for the Swatch 9's winter series, but no, you'll be mistaken because the weather has turned for the worst. It's actually stopped play, but it hasn't stopped me coming up here to give you some perspective on how big the free ride course is. Look at this structure, the big free ride drop. Now this structure, look at it, it's built to last. It's built to stay here for the foreseeable future. This whole complex is gonna stay here for a very long time, which is amazing. But this, my friends, is the big free ride drop. It's 5.5 meters tall, and the gap on this to the landing, the sweet spot, is seven meters. It looks monstrous, but to be honest, when you're riding it, it actually feels all right, it's weird. Now this drops into a massive berm into the big jump, which let's go down there and take a look at that. So you drop it into this humongous berm, off the big drop right there. We got this top pool in here, but here's, it's here for a reason just to protect it because there might be an opportunity to ride tomorrow, but a highly likely we're gonna be getting our bikes out. But anyway, you're into this berm. Now I registered 36 miles an hour into this turn. 
it was just the sweet spot to clearing the big 66 footer. But at this point right here, you're holding on for dear life. The G's in this point right here, because it kind of tightens up and you have to straighten up to hit the big straight jump, which is actually not straight, it's a bit of a hit, but we'll come to that in a minute. But you hold it on. As soon as you open up or touch the brakes, you lose all that sweet speed and you're definitely gonna case this jump or it's not gonna end well. Let's go and look at this big jump, it's massive. Wow, look at this. It's incredible. Look at the structure of the takeoff. I've, it's built out of massive boulders. It's huge, it's absolutely monstrous. The gap is, there's the landed, like it's the size of a house, but you let it, the, the whole jump is 66 foot. But that's from takeoff to knuckle, and we're pretty much over jumping this. Well, you're not over jumping, you're going past the knuckle. So you're pretty much getting, I don't know, 75, 80 foot if you get some good speed on it. That's huge. And you're going across a chasm. This is the, this is the slope style line right here, and people are riding and jumping over them. It's, it is the best feeling jump on course. I absolutely love this jump. It's super scary hitting it for the first time, but after a while, this thing is, oh, it's gorgeous. Let's just take a moment to take in the architecture of this course, because look at all the angles. You're right here, and you're introduced with multiple lines, but it is incredible. The amount of workmanship that's gone into this, and hours, it's taken them two months, 10 weeks to build this course, which is, well, it's a feat in itself, and it's incredible, and they should be super proud of it. Take a look at this. This is the elephant in the room. This is the biggest landing out here. This is the dirt to dirt free ride hip. From flat to top is 11 meters tall, which is ridiculous. It's like a, a, th it's like a three story house. It's unreal. Now the width of this thing is pretty much a tennis court or half a tennis court. I'm over exaggerating, but anyway, I'm just trying to show you how big this beast is. So you're hitting that berm, you're coming in at 35 miles an hour, pretty much the same speed as that one up the top. You hit the dirt to dirt, up onto here, you plump yourself right here, which you know straightens you up into the bottom of the course, which to be honest is really fun. It's fast, it's flowy, and you've got the big trick jump at the bottom. You can do two ways you can go on this. You can do the slope style step up, or you can hit the free ride big trick jump on the left, which to be honest is my favorite jump. Look at this, the end booter on the free ride line. This thing's an absolute monster. It's about 16 foot tall takeoff, but the gap on it is 10 meters. So you're coming flat out down course, you're gapping, it's like a lily pad onto this wooden feature across here, no brakes, and then it just goes, boom. This thing is so good to do a backflip on. It's just the perfect radius. It's actually 60 degrees, which is actually perfect. All right, free ride line, let's go. All right, let's get into it. I'm following Sam Pilgrim off this drop with seven meters out. You feel it in your legs. At this point, you feel the G's in the berm doing 36 mile an hour into the 66 footer. Coming into the next berm, which is flat out, no brakes into the free ride hip, which is 11 meters high. And from here, we had to mix it up a bit because of the weather. As you can see, we're in a free ride line with the boys. We cut across just to maneuver onto the big free ride line ender jump. We got big flip from Pilgrim, some whips from the boys, and that is probably one of my favorite jumps on course. So enough with my runs, let's see what the pros throw down. So there we have it, an insight of what it takes to ride one of the best courses built in the world. Thank you very much to Swatch Nines for giving me the opportunity to come out here and hang out with some of the best athletes in the world in the sport of slope style and in free ride. Thank you very much for watching this. Hopefully this has inspired you to get out there on your bike. See ya.